Hey everyone, so today I'm going to take a look at a very unusual app by Andy, which is an iMessage app. And I'm not going to look at the UX in it really, but I'm just going to try to redefine this UI just a tiny bit. And I understand that this might be actually very difficult to do inside an iMessage app. But this exercise is more about showing what can we do here uh, if it was a real app. And maybe some of these changes actually can be done as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to modify the chevrons. Because uh, in general, yeah, this is kind of how they look in iOS. But this vision of them is just horribly wrong and really badly proportioned. So I'm not a fan of those. So let's just make them smaller. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So now let's just... Uh, I'm going to create a blank space over here. And paste this one above as well and also let's paste it onto the second screen too okay so yeah this kind of uh, makes this whole layout a little bit more oriented on the left side and the chevrons are just an indicator that you can actually go further and you can go into the next part of the settings but they're not really that important so i think this looks a little bit better Okay, one more check would be to see if there's the same space on every side here. So it seems to be 18 points. Let's see what's on the right. And it appears that it's not really um, the same spacing from both sides. So let's just decrease that size here. And I'm going to check it on the second screen as well. Okay, that works better. And we can actually create guides for that. So it's gonna be easier if anything else needs some aligning here. Okay, so next let's try to do something about the bottom part here. Because in general, what I understand is that this is one section over here and it's all connected. So maybe we should actually make it a little bit more connected by pasting in a background and make it like a tiny bit of that blue that we have here but just like completely like barely visible and a little bit gray as well and to have the alignment work nicely you can set it to the same 18 points now in general i prefer those uh, segment controls to be a little bit taller because it's just easier to activate them. In most cases the uh, toggles are on the right side so we're kind of used to them being on that side. So I'm just going to move the text to the left and the toggle to the right and align it to the same margin and yeah let's let's do it this way even though it has a little bit of the bounding box sticking out. Okay the next thing I would do here is first of all that icon here of the wrench doesn't really looks similar to any of the other icons on this screen. So I'd actually replace it with a more standard cog that kind of represents the settings. So we are pasting that in, but we're gonna use that same color for it, only just slightly desaturated. Okay, and I think that the main problem here uh, in terms of making it more visually appealing, I know it's uh, it just works this way in my message likely, but we really should think about having buttons here instead of just text. And yeah, it's an iOS pattern, but we can just play around with it just a tiny bit and modify this. So first of all, this button save, let's just use that blue. And I'm adding a nice gradient to the button and also since the segmented controls have slightly more rounded corners, I'm rounding the corners of the buttons a little bit as well here. Then making the fonts a little bit smaller. Okay, now I align the selected button a little bit more to the left and also modify the shape to have a slightly rounded corner too. Here I'm playing around with some backgrounds and also modifying the icons on the top side to make them a little bit smaller because they're a little bit overwhelming here. Changing the green in the toggle to a familiar blue and also adding a little bit of a divider line between that section so it's a little bit more distinguished from the rest of the screen. Now this may be a bit of a stretch but I'm faking the shadows by creating a disappearing gradient and making it a little bit blue to blend in with the background as well. 
This is just to see how it would look like with a couple of different layers. And while I'm here I'm gonna rebuild the segmented control to make it stand out a little bit more, to have the selected version also be a little bit more prominent and make it a little bit bigger while we're at it as well. And once there is more content in this new style, I can also make some alignment changes, so move some stuff down, some stuff up, and I can also add some divider lines to see how they will look like if we can actually make a little bit of a structure for this. I'm not a fan of divider lines because in many cases they're not necessary, but here we have text and icons in the rows that the icons are very different from one another. They're different sizes, different shapes, so it's really hard to align it optically so people will actually perceive that alignment. So adding dividers can actually help in cases like that. And as this is a little bit of a freestyle redesign, I'm actually gonna be making changes to the already made changes. So I'm gonna simplify the screen just a tiny bit with the backgrounds and with the shadows. But that's the whole idea of speed redesigning, that you actually are making changes kind of subconsciously and then you can evaluate them and see if any of them make sense and you can revert or actually you can use those changes as a starting point to something else. So yeah, here's some last minute changes, adding the gradient to the selected button as well. And I think this is it. This is a pretty simple app and I think that the iMessage part is actually giving it a lot of constraints so possibly a lot of these changes actually are impossible to do within Xcode. But this exercise is more about using some of the techniques that I outlined before and to just try and make things a little bit more clearer, readable and fun to use. So let me know what you think, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and see you next time. Cheers!